Understanding HCG Levels Post-Miscarriage Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video. Today, we'll be discussing a topic that is very important and relevant to many women. How long does it take for HCG levels to drop after a miscarriage? This can be a difficult and confusing time, so it's essential to understand what's happening in your body. Remember, HCG, or human chorionic gonadotropin, is the hormone that your body produces when you are pregnant. What happens to HCG levels after a miscarriage? When a woman becomes pregnant, the placenta starts to produce HCG. This hormone causes the body to maintain the pregnancy until the placenta has developed enough to take over. However, if a miscarriage occurs, the production of HCG stops and its levels start to drop. Typically, HCG levels double approximately every 48 to 72 hours in early pregnancy, reaching a peak at around 8 to 11 weeks. After a miscarriage, these levels begin to decrease. How long does it take for HCG levels to return to normal? After a miscarriage, HCG levels typically decrease at a somewhat predictable rate. For most women, HCG levels will likely return to a non-pregnant range, about less than 5 mu per milliliter, around 4 to 6 weeks after a miscarriage. It's important to understand that this time frame is an average and can vary from woman to woman. What factors can influence the drop in HCG levels? Several factors can influence how quickly HCG levels drop after a miscarriage. These include the length of the pregnancy. The longer the pregnancy, the higher the levels of HCG in the body, which can take longer to decline. Individual differences. Each woman's body is unique, and so is her response to miscarriage. The type of miscarriage. Certain types of miscarriage, such as molar pregnancies, can cause unusually high HCG levels that take longer to drop. In conclusion, HCG levels generally return to non-pregnant levels about 4 to 6 weeks after a miscarriage, but this can vary based on individual circumstances. It's important to follow up with your healthcare provider during this time to ensure that your HCG levels are decreasing appropriately and to help manage any complications that may arise. Always remember, it's okay to ask questions and seek support during this time. We hope this video has been helpful and has provided some clarity on this often confusing topic.